Okay, good evening everyone and welcome to my live. For subscribers only. Hello everyone, let me just see if I can share this out. Uh, let's have a look, share. Messenger. We are done. Okay, so um, if you are a non-subscriber, you will be able to see this live, but you won't be able to comment or take part in the readings. If you are a subscriber, you will be able to um, take part in the readings and also comment, but everyone else can watch. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Yay, Stephen is here. Welcome, Stephen. Right, let's put Stephen on the list um, first. Now, even though this is subscriber only, I do have a dear friend um, called Gemma. And um, I know she'll either be watching tonight or she will be watching on the replay. Hi, hi everyone. Hello, Kinga. Hello, hello, hello. Um, lovely to see everyone coming in. So, um... I'm going to um, add my friend Gemma, or Gems, um, to tonight's list just because um, she's a dear friend of mine and uh, she definitely could do with a reading tonight. So I'm making an exception for Gemma. Hello, Naza. Hello, Natalie. Hello, everyone that is watching. Okay. So, um, this is a subscriber only readings tonight. Um, so if you're not a subscriber, you're more than welcome to watch. And, uh, because some of the cards that I pick for our subscribers may have meaning for you as well. Um, I'm not a tarot or oracle reader, I'm a spiritual reader, there is a huge difference. So when spirit give messages for one person, those messages can mean so much to other people as well. It's not the first time I've picked a card for one person and it's meant something to the person I'm reading for but it's also meant something to others that are watching the live. So even if you're not a subscriber and you can't comment in tonight's live um, or receive a reading in tonight's live, excuse my noisy bird today, he's excited. When he has the, the weekend off doing readings, then this little guy gets excited. Hello, Eve. Yay, Eve's in. Let's put... Um, even so we've got Kinga and Eve so just for Stephen's benefit um, I'm just gonna oh who else have we got yeah we've got Eve I just want to make sure I've not missed anyone um, so for Stephen's benefit we've got Stephen Gemma um, Kinga and Eve so far. Hello, hello, hello. So, um, 
as I said, if you are not a subscriber, you can still um, watch and maybe get something from the readings that are um, done tonight. Um, but if you are a subscriber, obviously you can comment like Stephen and Eve and Kinga and you can also get a reading tonight. Thank you for the gifts, everyone. Okay. So I am back tomorrow night for um, gift only readings. So to get a two card reading tomorrow, if you're a non-subscriber, it's a swan gift. If you're a subscriber, you get two cards free every time I go live. So I hope that that helps. Thank you for the roses, Stephen. And happy or blessed Ostara. Um, to all my pagan friends, and if you're not pagan, happy spring, equinox, um, because today is the first day of spring, absolutely love Ostara, um, it just gets, gets me in the spring mood. Okay, so for the benefits of the subscribers we've got so far, um, the cards that I have are the Angel Healing and Soul Truth. So, Stephen, what two cards would you like? We're going to kick the, the night's le readings off. Hello, Diane. No problem, Diane. Diane, we have got Angel Cards and Soul Truth. So, if you let me know what two cards you want, even if you're having to nip off, I can still read your two cards for you. Oh, they, oh, Stephen, you are a gentleman. There you go, Diane. Look at that. Stephen's a gent. Let, let's Diane go first. All right, Diane. What two cards would you like? Angel or Soul Truth or one of each? Two soul truths for Diane. Stephen, you are a gent. Hi, Susan. Yay, we have Susan in as well. Okay, let's put Susan down. So, just for the sake of Susan, because she is one of our moderators, we've got Diane, Stephen, um, my friend Gemma, King, Ga, Eve, and Susan. Oh, and we have Bluebell. So we have Bluebell as well. My goodness me, we got so many people coming in. Welcome, Bluebell. Okay. So let's do Soul Truth. Um, let's do Soul Truth for Diane. So I'm just going to um, pick some Soul Truth ones. Let's shuffle these Soul Truth cards. I love the Soul Truth. They are awesome. Alrighty. Okay. Let's give them a good old shuffle, get the energy flowing. Apologies for not doing the subscriber live on Saturday. We had um, visitors um, and then I was going to do them on the Sunday. And then I had a really busy day Sunday with healings and booked readings, which is very rare for me to be busy. But thank you to everyone that booked a reading or um, a Reiki healing session with me on Sunday. You kept this um, old crone witch busy. So thank you so much. Yay, Dr. Sunshine Fire is here as well. We are getting so many people coming in. Hello, Dr. Sunshine Fire. Oh, what happened there? No, we don't want to end the live. 
Okay. So Dr. Sunshine Fire. We have got on the list. Alrighty. So let's shuffle these cards for our Diane. Now next Sunday, the 26th of March, myself and Free Spirit Moon will be back doing another music trivia. For those that joined me the last time um, on music trivia with Free Spirit Moon, we had a great time. Um, everybody enjoyed listening to songs new and old and you know I love things like that because old songs we often forget and when we do like music trivia nights it kind of helps us to remember those long ago um, tunes uh, and music and it's good when you're under pressure to try and remember what was the title of that song? What was the artist? What year were they? Kind of thing, right? Um, so if you want to test your music knowledge, join myself and Free Spirit Moon on Sunday, the 26th of March, round about 9pm, which is 3pm CST time and 2pm USA time. Hello, Isa. Yay, Isa's here. Okay, so we have Isa in the building as well. I know, right? <laughs> oh, music, music trivia is fantastic. All right, so let's put, who else have we got? Isa in there as well. Isa, you are on the list. All right, so let's pick two cards for Diane. Okay. So for those that are not subscribers, welcome in. Please feel free, free to take a seat and watch. Um, you need to be a subscriber to um, comment and take part in tonight's live. The only exception to that is my friend Gemma, um, who is really needing uh, a reading tonight, so she will be getting a reading tonight. Hello everyone. Okay, so Diane, your first Soul Truth card. How can I be more flexible right now? How can I be more flexible right now. What are you trying to control? Maybe it's time to let go. Let love move through you today and trust the outcome will be for your highest good. Do you know that is so true? What are we trying to control? Right? What are we trying to really, really push? That's maybe not for our best benefit, right? Might be not be, might not be the best for what we want to do. Maybe we are trying to push someone else um, to to sort of help us along, and that's not working out. But asking yourself, how can I be more flexible right now? Right, um, being yourself and Allowing love to take control, not you to, can take control, but let, allow love in. Um, maybe it's time to let go of any control that we may have over ourselves, because sometimes we're too harsh on ourselves as well. Sometimes we put too much of a, a demand on ourselves, and we shouldn't. We should just do what our heart and soul tells us we're more than able to do. If it's something that is really and truly in your soul to do, then go with it. But if, it, if it's not in your control, but it's just something that you, you may know in your heart that you're not able to do, but you want to try and push it, you want to try and control that, um, 
it's never gonna happen because it's not in your best interest. So the only thing we can take control of is the things that are important to us. How do we find those things that are important to us? Self-love. That's that's the, the, the top of it. Um, Self-love. No problem, Bluebell. Um, so, what is your soul's um, action point for this? Remind yourself all day long that you are safe, that life is happening for you, and that you, that you are not alone. Then maybe do something like yoga or something that is, you know, Tai Chi, something that is connecting you with soul. Um, I love doing meditation. Meditation connects me to everything. It connects me to my heart, my soul, but it connects me to um, loved ones and spirit, etc. Um, sometimes I love dance and music. Music connects me as well. That's kind of my thing. Um, so what is it that, you know, um, you can remind yourself all day long that you are safe and that life is happening for you and that you are not alone, then do some yoga, right? It's not about whether um, people can control us and what we want to do in our lives. It's about what is right for us, right? When the universe gives us a life path, even if we don't know what that life path is, our intuition and our heart tells us if it's right or if it's wrong. That's why you'll always hear me say, if in doubt, listen to that inner voice, that intuition. That will tell you if you are on the right or the wrong path. Your second card. When was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? Right. If you were on Friday's live, OMG, um, that was a live and a half. I've yet to put it onto um, my YouTube, but that was a live and a half. Um, Joe Boxer came in and just up flipped the whole um, live because the card that he chose was um, pretty hilarious considering what he needed to hear and of course everybody's mind went in the gutter and that was it there was an explosion of laughter but do you know what everybody agreed that that was the best live ever right because everybody including joe boxer was in hysterics um so it's a good thing to laugh and to smile and to just, you know, if we, if, if we are sad and we think about something funny, we start laughing. And when one person laughs, we all laugh. Now, normally, <laughs> when I'm doing readings, I can be really, really focused on the reading so that I don't get carried in, away too much in a belly roaring laugh. But oh boy, um, Spirit had other ideas for me and everybody else in the room on Friday. Um, so I will be sharing that video with you all on my Lady Moonlight YouTube channel. Um, I will upload it tonight. Um, but it was a hoot and a half. Hello, Mary. But yeah, we had not long introduced um, Bluebell into the moderator's um, circle. So it was Bluebell's kind of first night getting to grips with um, being a moderator. And then Joe Boxer came in and just blew her out of the water. Hello, Mary. Let's put Mary on the readings list. Hello, Erica. Erica has also come in. Thank you for the bear love. 
Lovely to see so many people. Yay. Okay, so let's put Erica on the readings. That's my goodness me, we've got so many people coming in today. And Mary. Okay. So just for the sake of Stephen, Susan and Bluebell, uh, we're just doing Diane's card. Then it's Stephen, Gemma, Kinga, Eve, Susan, Bluebell, Dr. Sunshine, Isa, Erica and Mary. Now if any of you have to disappear and you still want me to read your card, please let me know what card you want so that... Um, I'm, I'm able to do that card when I call out your name. Um, so, Diane, when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? Go back to a moment where you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants or even did. Feel the laughter grow in your body your cheeks hurting, your eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the little things. Note to oneself, I need to laugh more often. Yeah, yeah, you had the migraine that night, Susan, but um, I will be uploading it on to YouTube later on tonight after this live. Um, but it was it was near the end of the live and Joe Boxer came in and just upset the apple cart. But yeah, um, and of course, this card did not help it either because everybody was then thinking about them, crossed legs, peeing themselves and all the rest of it. And in short, um, Joe Boxer was advised by Spirit to live life naked and free. You can see where that went after that. Um, so, <laughs> it was quite, um, <laughs> it was quite a night. So, yeah, and Bluebell had just been introduced into the moderators at the time as well. So, she was kind of flung in at flung in at the deep end so it is important to remind ourselves to laugh even if sometimes laughter is probably the last thing we want to do right there are events and times and things in our life that laughter is so far away from our minds right we may be too stressed too upset etc etc but do you know what when you've got a laugh, something to laugh at that gives you that belly roar laugh where you are basically eye streaming, belly hurting laugh and your cheeks are so sore with laughing and you're practically rolling off the sofa, right? Doesn't that make you feel good, right? It does, it sets you up for the day. So, you know, if you can find something Every day just to laugh at, right? Doesn't matter, doesn't really matter what it is. You might put your favorite comedy on, right? Um, flick through TikTok, honestly. Some of the videos on TikTok is enough to get anybody belly rolling. Some of them are just hilarious, aren't they? So, <coughs> we should always find a reason to laugh, even when. We don't feel like laughing because laughing, laughing is so, um, it is pretty much, thank you for the finger heart, it is pretty much soul healing. So Diane's um, soul action, make one person, anybody, just make somebody laugh today. And I certainly did that with Joe Boxer on Friday. Um, I didn't just make one person laugh. I think everybody in the room um, was in stitches. But you know what? Laughter's infectious, right? You might not know what somebody in a room is laughing at, 
But when they start belly laughing and uh, to the point where you, ha you have no idea what they are laughing at, you can't help but laugh along with them, right? As I said, I'm the most, um, you know, focused reader that there is. You know, same with my healing. If I'm if I'm doing Reiki healing, I'm so focused. Um, so it's pretty difficult sometimes when I'm in the middle of a reading to make me laugh. But oh boy, um, between that card coming out and then a card that Joe Boxer had where he was asked to let everything hang out and run free naked, um, that was it. The whole place was in stitches. It was just one of those. <laughs> it was just one of those days. But you you needed to be there to actually realise what um what went down. So um for those that missed that, I will be uploading that video to uh, Lady Moonlight YouTube channel. And if you're in the subscriber um, VIP group on Facebook, you'll and the um, what's the other one? The late uh, the Hippie Gypsy Moonwitch group on Facebook. It will also be there as well. So, Diane, I hope that has meaning for you today. So, whatever it is you're doing for the rest of the night, Diane, make one person laugh today, even if it's just yourself. You know, um, sometimes this little guy makes me laugh with his antics. Um, but, yeah, laughter is healing for the soul, isn't it? Right? How many times have we laughed so hard... And then after the event, we just feel absolutely amazing for it. Okay. So, we're now on to Stephen. So, Stephen, what two cards would you like? We've got Soul Truth and Angel Healing tonight. Thank you for the finger heart, Diane. Oh, I think I see Loretta coming in as well. So let's put Loretta on the list while I still see her. Hello, Loretta. Yep, we've got Angel Healing or Soul Truth. So we got these Angel cards or we've got the Soul Truth today. That's the cards that we have tonight. Angel. Let's do two angels. Okay. So let's shuffle the angel cards. Welcome everyone who has joined me tonight. If you are a subscriber, you will be able to take part in tonight's live readings and comment. If you are not a subscriber, you can feel free to um, listen in on our readings. Um, because sometimes, even though the cards are for someone else, you may find some meaning in them for you as well. Because I am not a tarot or um, an oracle reader, I am a spiritual reader. There is a huge difference. Alrighty. So let's do some angel cards. Okay.
So just shuffling these cards for everyone. Yeah, I found you. Um, I've just added you to the group. Thank you for the swan. Love swans. Thank you. Hello, Loretta. Okay, let's put Joe on the list as well. It's going to be one of those nights. I can tell it's going to be a busy, busy, busy subscriber night. Alrighty. So let's pick two angel cards for our Stephen. So the first um, card for you, Stephen, is books. Okay. Your life purpose may involve writing books, reading books, editing or um Selling spiritually based books. I love books um, because books are knowledge. Right? Every time you pick up a book, it doesn't matter what type of book it is, it could be fiction or non fiction. Right? When you read something in a book, you learn something. Even if it's a made up story, right? Stories um, that authors make up are often based on real life right a lot of writers will write um non-fiction stories but those stories may be based um on their own life experiences or something that's happened to them or a friend of theirs or whatever right and they turn it into the most beautiful best-selling story but even the non-fiction uh, books that we pick up, right? They could be, I knew Rio would um, end up having a bath tonight. He always does. Right, cut it out, you. Um, but even non-fiction books, we can learn so much. We might want to learn about gardening. We might want to learn about spiritualism. We might want to learn um, spell... Um, things cooking knitting crocheting right there's so many um thousands and millions and millions of books but it's not just reading books it's writing them as well writing um, journals every day could be dream journals thought journals manifestation journals right um, it could be um, manifestation journals, right? And you might think, well, journals are a bit of a waste of time. They're, they're the only things that um, are important to me. And they're things that maybe, you know, the dreams might be my dreams, but they they are only important to me. They don't mean anything to anyone else. But think on it this way. If you were not around tomorrow and you left all of your journals, how important and valuable would the information in your journals be for someone who is going through or had been going through something that you have already gone through and wrote down in your journal? That turns your so-called journal into something a little bit more than a journal it turns it into somebody else's survival guide, right? Now, I could um, write journals about my past, right? And then the, the time that I'm not here, somebody coming across my journals that maybe have gone through bullying or abuse, etc., etc., or may have disabilities, right? My story could be their survival guide, right? Because they may be saying, well, look at Lady Moonlight. She, it took her 50 years to escape all of that, but escape it she did. And this is how she did it and why she did it, etc. right? So that becomes more than a journal. It becomes um, a survival kit for somebody else. 
So you may think, well, doing journaling, writing journals, writing diaries, writing notes, etc., even writing down um, your cards that you pick for yourself every day, right? You might think, well, that's only beneficial to me. But it could be just as beneficial to somebody else come the day that you're not here. Which makes that journal very, very um, valuable. Thank you for the gifts, everyone. You are all amazing. Yep, I saw your choices. Angel cards. Yep, I got um I got both your angel um cards, Stephen. So yeah, I did see your choices. So your second card, um singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music. Wait a minute till I sort this little bird out. Thank you. Um, express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. Again, just like the laughter card, music and movement is so important for mind, body and soul, right? I love singing, you know, if I'm doing the dishes, I'm not just singing, I'm moving along to the music, etc. Um, if I've got my headphones on and I'm listening to music in the headphones, you know, you'll always find me swaying or, or singing along to the music, right? But music can also bring back happy memories, Right, music can connect us to times gone by and people gone by as well. Thank you for the finger hearts, um, and for people gone by as well. Right, there are certain songs that I may find on my shuffle list, especially in my own favorites, um, playlist that I have on Spotify. In my favorites on Spotify, I have I Love the Daffodils. Thank you so much for the daffodils. Um, on my favourites on um, Spotify, I have songs for, that my mom liked, my dad, my auntie, my brother, etc., etc. But they're also songs that also take me back to that time with family, friends, um, relatives, etc. So music can bring back happy memories, it can bring back joy, um, it can make because when we're having a pretty crappy day, etc. And it can calm us down when we are feeling stressed or angry, etc. But we live in such a a hectic world where everything is too serious, right? We've got to go to work, we've got to take the kids to school, we've got to do X, Y and Z and, and, and everything else. And we don't have time to have fun. Who says? We should make sure that we're having music, laughter, singing, dancing in our everyday life because it is so vital to the soul. Thank you, everyone, for the gifts. You are all amazing. Um, so I hope that has meaning for you. So get your tutu on, Stephen, and start singing and dancing, right? So, and it has to be pink. It has to be a pink tutu with the ballet shoes, everything else, right? We all want to see Stephen in his pink tutu and ballet shoes. Why not, right? But honestly, um, singing, dancing, just having a good time whilst writing your book as well, right? And if you do wear that pink tutu, uh, we want we want to see pics. <laughs> we want to see Stephen in his tutu. Okay, 
So I hope um, those two cards have meaning for you, Stephen. Okay. I'm just checking to see I haven't missed anyone. Because we've had a lot of people coming in. Okay. So for the benefit of Isa, who has just joined us, um, who's also uh, one of our moderators. Um, so the remainder of tonight's um, readings list, we've now got Gemma. Um, now Gemma isn't a subscriber, but she's a very dear friend of mine. Um, see, Erica wants to see Stephen in a tutu. And she wants to see the photos. <laughs> Has to be the pink um, sparkly ballet shoes as well, Stephen. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. Between Stephen and his pink tutu and uh, Joe Boxer running bare and free. Um, yeah, it's going to be one of these lives. Okay, so I'm going to do Gemma's two cards. I know she will um, be watching either live or she'll watch um, on the replay, even though she can't comment. Um. <laughs> Erica, so that's it. We've got Erica started for the day. So Gemma, if you are watching live or on the replay, I'm going to pick... Um, one of each for you. I'm going to pick an angel card and a soul truth card. The angel cards are angel healing cards. So, but before we do that, um, just for the benefit of Isa, we've got Gemma, Kinga, Eve, Susan, Bluebell, Dr. Sunshine Fire, Isa, um, we've got Erica, we've got Mary, Loretta and Joe Boxer. And if I've missed anyone out, please let me know. All right. So let's pick an angel card for Gemma and a soul card for Gemma. Gemma was the beautiful lady and friend of mine. I've known Gemma for many, many years and she did my hair yesterday and did a great job. So um, I wanted to give her um, the gift of a reading. This is what I mean about, um, you know, it's not all about giving or it's not all about taking, it's giving and taking. And when somebody does you um, a favour, it's nice to give them a nice little thing back. Um, so this one is for Gemma tonight. Alrighty. Gemma has been doing my hair for years. She knows I don't like getting a lot cut off my hair because I'm a traditional witch. My hair is my hair is my crown. Um but sometimes the long hair gets in my eyes a little bit. Um so now and again I just like to get something different. Oh, thank you. She certainly did. She knows she knows my hair well. Um, so she knows uh, I don't have to, you know, say to her how much to take off or, or whatever. She just knows. Um, so my hair's a little bit uh, wavy today because I've just um, conditioned it and uh, put some oils through it, etc., etc., just to... Give it a little bit of sparkle and shine because this witch likes sparkle and shine.